Hello guys and welcome. So in this video, I'm going to be answering the question, what is Chrono Trigger? This video is aimed at people who know nothing about Chrono Trigger and have always been curious. Hopefully it will serve as a good starter guide for you. Also, as part of the What Is series, I'm going to link to as many useful resources in the description box below, including to the official website, to the Wikipedia page, to this trailer. This is a trailer for the Steam version and uh, more that I find along the way or anything that you guys recommend. But before we continue, a quick message from past Mifri. Thank you for watching the video so far. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now, back to the video. So, Chrono Trigger is a 1995 role-playing video game developed and published by Square, um, who are now Square Enix, and for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, aka the SNES. Uh, Chrono Trigger's development team, including three designers that Square dubbed the Dream Team, Hironobu Sakaguchi, the creator of Square's successful Final Fantasy series, uh, Yoji Hori, a uh, freelance a designer and creator of Elix's popular Dragon Quest series, and Akira uh, Toriyama, a manga artist famed for his work with Dragon Quest and Dragon Ball. In addition, um, uh, Kazo, sorry, Kazuhiko, um, okay, sorry, I mispronounced these names. Um, produced the game. So, um, Toronto Trigger features standard role-playing video game uh, gameplay. The player controls the protagonist and his companions in the game's two-dimensional fictional world, consisting of various forests, cities, and dungeons. Navigation occurs via an overworld map, depicting the landscape from a scaled-down overhead view. Areas such as forests, cities, and similar places are depicted as a more realistic scaled down maps um, in which players can converse with locals to produce items and services, solve puzzles and challenges, or encounter enemies. Chrono Trigger's gameplay deviates from that of traditional Japanese RPGs in that rather than appearing in random encounters, many enemies are openly visible in field maps or lie in wait to ambush the party. Contact with enemies um, on a field initiates battle that occurs directly on the map rather than a separate battle screen. Uh, players and enemies may use physical or magical attacks to wound targets during battle, and players may use items to heal or protect themselves, which is the, the old RPGs that we're uh, very accustomed with, but also as well, let's say 25 years in advance gameplay mechanics that we're seeing in newer RPGs. So let's see, each character and enemy has a certain number of hit points. Successful attacks reduce the character's hit points, which can be restored with potions and spells. When a playable character loses all hit points, they faint. Um, if all player characters fall in battle, the game ends and must be restored from a previous save chapter. Um, except in specific storyline related battles that allow or force a player to lose. Between battles, a player can equip their characters with weapons, armor, helmets, and accessories that provide special effects, such as increased attack power or defense against magic. And various uh, consumable items can be used both in and out of battles. Items and equipment can be produced in shops or found on field maps. Um, often in treasure chests. By exploring your areas and finding enemies, players progress through Chrono Trigger's story. Okay, so uh, now this game has had a lot of influence on many RPGs that came after it, um, including um, the game I Am Setsuna, which specifically mentioned Chrono Trigger in its marketing. So um, what we're now going to do, guys, we're going to visit the official website. We're going to see what's written there about this game. Okay, so this is the official website. Link is in the description. And buy now for uh, Steam. So the timeless classic RPG returns, loaded with upgrades. Uh, journey to the forgotten past, to the far future, and to the end of time. And this was the trailer that we were watching. So a big adventure to save the planet now begins. Chrono Trigger is a timeless role-playing classic developed by the Dream Team. Um, as the story unfolds, embark on a journey to different eras, the present, the Middle Ages, the future, and prehistory and ancient times. Whether you're a first 
time player or a long time fan, this epic quest to save a planet's future promises hours of enthralling adventure. As the definitive version of Chrono Trigger, not only have the controls been updated, the graphics and sound have also been revamped to make your adventure even more fun and enjoyable to play. To complete your journey, um, also included is Mysterious Dimensional Vortex Dungeon and the Forgotten Lock Santum Dungeon. Meet the challenges presented to you and long lost secrets may be revealed. So the story. A chance encounter amid the festivities of uh, Guardia's uh, Millennial Fair in, in Lean Square introduces our young hero. I've played too many Final Fantasies, so this sounds very familiar. <laughs> So, uh, Chrono is a uh, sorry, our young hero Chrono to a girl by the name of Mal, uh, deciding to explore the fair together. The two soon find themselves at an exhibition of the telepod, the latest invention of Chrono's longtime friend Luca. Mal, fearless and brimming with curiosity, volunteers to assist in a demonstration. An unanticipated um, malfunction, however sends her hurting, sorry, hurtling through a rift in the dimensions. Taking hold of the girl's pendant, Chrono bravely follows in pursuit, but the world into which he emerges is one of four centuries before. A journey to the forgotten past, the distant future, or even the very end of time. The epic quest to save the planet's uh, future makes history once more. Now, some people regard Chrono Trigger to be the best RPG of all time. So, of course, I had to add it to the uh, What Is series. So you can download uh, newspapers, sorry, newspapers, wallpapers, newspapers, <laughs> and you can buy it um, for Steam or via the Square Enix store. And it's also available, apparently, on um, iOS and Android. So, um, as I say, guys, check out the links in the description. Um, if you've ever played this game 25 years ago, and you didn't know it was available on more modern platforms, and this is your chance to uh, relive the game. And also as well, I'm always looking for more ideas for the What Is series. So if there's any games that you feel are missed from the What Is series, please let me know in those comments down below. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there, or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.